All right, Shalom Israel. Once again, it's the brother Kalab out here on the highways and byways, prophesying the downfall and destruction of Babylon the Great, which is America, and teaching repentance to the house of Israel, which is so-called African Americans, Hispanics, and Latinos, all the way down to so-called Mexicans. All right, the Wadi Abashim Yashaf allowing me to come out here on the highways and byways and prophesy the will of Hamashiach Gawashai. I'm going to just uh, go into some scriptures that I have lined up since yesterday. I'm going to roll in the spirit. I don't know if this all will be on the highways and byways with the brother tomorrow. Can it make it? But regardless, I'm going to just go into what we know what to do best, which is to prophesy. And so, Lakia, before I get started, I want to give all honor and glory to my power, which is Yahweh, Kala, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Raha Kadash, Wadi Al Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Wadi Al Bashim, Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to be out here on the highways and byways. I'm going to go to the uh, book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8 says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries, against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's what we have. That's what uh, America, Babylon the Great, and Vicelli, California is getting ready to experience. Famine, death, and destruction is waiting at your door. Because this is a great indicator. This is a great indicator uh, of, of, the, of the times and seasons. There, there is a time. Uh, there is a time and a season for everything under the sun. And this is a time uh, of, uh, of many prophecies coming to light, uh, truth being declared, judgment being uh, rendered, and Thawadi Abashim Shai and our Ramatiz comes to salvation. Okay, so we're out here to do the will of the Heavenly Father that, that sent, sent us. We're out here. We're out here measuring the time diligently in itself. Yahweh Bashim Yashai has given in his remnant the elect a vision. What, what's the vision? The vision is the destruction of America, the enslavement of Esau Edom, the so called white man, for all of his abominations that he's committed upon the earth, all the bloodshed and wickedness that he's done. And this is scriptural. These, these damn Edomite devils is getting ready to be thrown into captivity. And the nation of Israel, so called Spanish, Latinos, and Native Americans, and so-called African Americans, you are the true biblical Israelites, and this is not this is not no a hidden secret anymore. This is on the front line uh, of uh, commercialism. Well, you just had uh, uh, Vladimir Putin come out with the Russian icons and just tell the whole world what what they were holding, which is a, a black Messiah, black Jesus, and he's gonna he's gonna deliver ram, uh, uh, vengeance on the wickedness of our people. The Wadi Al Bashim Yal Shai, Habakkuk chapter two and three says. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. But wait, as tarry means wait. The vision is yet for an appointed time, the destruction of Babylon the Great for the iniquities, uh, 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 for, uh, for the rulers and kings of this of this earth and uh, the people uh, the people that are laid in iniquity. Yahweh Hashem is getting ready to uh, render a great destruction upon the earth for the wickedness uh, of mankind. Which is promoted to this, this, this devil, Esau Edom, primarily. Habakkuk chapter 2 and 3 says, The vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And that, that vision, that head, if you want to, the head rearing itself, showing itself a destruction, right? That's the Heavenly Father's judgment, being Yahweh uh, will visit the earth. Why do Yahweh Shai? I believe that's the second edge or uh, nine or 15, but that's what that's what's happened upon the earth. See all this destruction, these rumors of wars, these famines, these pestilence, this disorder, this this vile wickedness spirit that's upon here in Visalia, this uh, uh, gangism, uh, uh, whorism, faggots, faggotism, all this uh, 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 falseness is expounded, uh, is expounded uh, and pollute the whole earth. Why do y'all about shoot me out shot? Because the hurtful works are fulfilled. I'm gonna just go and do what I do best through the spirit. Why do y'all about shoot me out shot? So y'all about shoot me us, uh, gave us a spirit. We're, I don't want to talk, we be the watchers, we be the prophets. Uh, as scripture says, I will stand upon my watch and see what the, uh, what the, uh, what the Adoran will reprove, what he shall tell me. And when we're commanded to, we receive the vision to run therefore and, that, and, and to publish it roughly paraphrase to those that may read it. So we're, we're in a rush to tell you these things that, that are getting ready to come, uh, come to pass. Second Ezra chapter nine and one said, he asked me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I told thee before, 
and, and then we got great signs. I don't want to so I'm gonna go to Luke chapter 21 and 25. Uh, April 8th marks uh, it's a it's a, a, a lunar eclipse. You know, uh, these are the signs of the heavens to give us the indicator in regards to the times that we're living in. What times are we living in? What times did the uh, disciples ask Hamashiach uh, that they wanted to see when the kingdom would be translated to the nation of Israel? So this is these are the signs and effects and wonders that the heavenly Father is bringing before He destroys Babylon the Great. Second Ezra chapter nine and two says. Then shalt thou understand that it's the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be earthquakes and uproars of the people, and that's what you got. You got uh, you got uh, Haiti and uh, all-out sedition. You got uh, a lot of the European countries and, and all-out sedition. And that sedition here is coming to Babylon the Great. The scriptures talk about uh, uh, race wars. The, the scriptures talk about sedition. And that's the spirit that these people have been uh, cultivating through the spirit. The Wadi Abba Shem Yashai. And, and Yahweh Abba Shem Yashai is going to let loose, let loose, let that spirit, uh, uh, let, th let that spirit consume the earth. You know, you want it, want it so bad, you want it to join yourself unto, unto wickedness. You want to join yourself unto, unto these, these false saviors, Babylon the Great America, you want to uh, join yourself to this uh, American idolo uh, uh, ideology? Well, guess what? Yah Bashim Yashai, the, the creator of the heavens and the earth, is getting ready to lay this shit down and to throw you white devils into captivity for all your crimes and bloodshed that you've committed upon the earth. Y'all, it says, by unrighteous dealings and right and riches gone by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And that's what we're seeing. We're in, we're in a uh, role reversal, we're in a changing of the guard. We're in the time where the tables are turning and, the, and our enemy, Esau Edom, is, is taking a fucking dive to destruction. A straight swan dive. The Wadi al Bashim Yashai, the power of the nation of Israel. You so-called Hispanic Latinos and Native Americans. We're getting ready to put our fucking feet over your goddamn devil's snakes. And the Wadi al Bashim Yashai, kick off that race war already, you pussy. Kick it off. Because you know what? We know we know it's coming. The Wadi al Bashim Yashai. Second Ezra chapter nine. So Yahweh Hashem Yahshua has given us a great indicator of the times that we're getting ready to see the Wadi Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. Yeah, because you know these devils. You know, hey, the scriptures say who who shall rise them up? The Wadi Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. All right. We heard we heard uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua has given us the spirit. Why do about Shimon Shai that, that uh, these things may come to light and then we may prophesy and then we may prophesy and speak these things into existence? The why do y'all about Shimon Shai? Uh, give me a second here. I uh, lost track of where I was going. Oh, yeah, I want to talk about those signs in the heavens that we're getting ready to see. We're going to grab that in Luke. This marks, these are the signs in heavens uh, uh, upon the destruction of Babylon, which coincides. Uh, of the salvation of the nation of Israel, okay? The destruction of Babylon the Great coincides with the salvation of the, uh, of the nation of Israel, and it also coincides the heralding in of a kingdom. The Wadi Al Bashim Al Shai. Luke, Luke chapter 21 and 25 says, And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the seas and the waves roaring and that's what we have we have nothing but signs in the heavens uh, con continuously and we're going to con continue to see this all, all up until the time that Yahweh Bashim Yashai cracks those chariot cracks the clouds open and those chariots be revealed I don't know we see more of those chariots through the spirit and this is going to be the state of these people it's Luke chapter 21 and 26 says men's hearts filling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken to Wadi Abba Shimei Ashai. And then shall, and then and that's talking about the great glory, you know, because we're in the spirit of prophecy. Yahba Shimei Shai, this is what we're prophesying of. The, the great, the great heralding in and great grand interest of the only begotten son, the king of kings, the Lord of Lords. This is what these people are just getting ready to see. The Wadi Abba Shimei Ashai. Hey, because those nukes, hey, those nukes are, are very, 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 very close. Luke chapter 21 and 27 says, and then shall they see the son of man. And then, and, and you know, I'm going to expound on this through the spirit. Because it was my spirit to make a video. And that's why all these things correlate. This is my spirit to make a video recently. And it's going into the, the president of Russia. He just revealed those Russian icons to the world. And those they depict the Hamasiat Yahushai, which is the proper name of so-called Jesus Christ, just so-called black man. You know, they showed the, the, the physical pictures of him and, it, you know, it was, it was a dark, dark images. Okay, that's what they've been hiding. 
And then so, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. I don't have to say, uh, I'd be here to behold that. The Wadi Al Bashim Hashem in my seed. 28 says, And these things which begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your, your redemption draweth nigh to Wadi Al Bashim Yahshai. Our redemption draweth nigh to Wadi Al Bashim Yahshai, and our salvation is closer than we believe. I'm going to grab that one through the Spirit just to keep that rolling. Wadi Al Bashim Yahshai. So we are we are at the cusp of, 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 of great destruction, but also for us it's it's a rejoicing time because that's we get to see the fall of our enemy. It is high time. And that's what we've been ordained to do to sound that alarm, to sound the trumpet. You know, Romans chapter 13 and 11 says, and that knowing the time, now that it's high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our sort of for now is our salvation nearer than we believed. I'm going to continue on the 12 says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Verse, and that's where we teach repentance, we teach truth. Yahweh Shemesh has given us the spirit of truth. And certain men on this planet, there's a scripture that says, I have I have reserved 7,000 men that will not bow thy knee to Baal. I don't want to Zah, we are those men. We are those Israelite men uh, with our byword name is so-called Mexicans and Spanish and uh, Latinos and Native Americans. We are the true biblical Israelites. And we're gonna put we we're, we're gonna be set up in glory. Alright, the Wadi Al Bashim Al Shai. Romans chapter 13 and, and, and in righteousness with, with those law, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts. Because we can't fulfill the law now, but in, in the kingdom to come, we we are we we will. And then we're gonna teach others thy way other nations romans chapter 13 and 13 and 13 says let us walk honestly as in the day not in writing or drunkenness not in chambering and wantonness not in strife and ending okay well you know and the scriptures say uh let me see so we we don't need to walk with that because we we marvel in our great glory we we are at rest the elect have obtained it kjv Romans chapter 11 and 7 says, What then Israel hath, uh, what then Israel hath not obtained which it seeketh for? Because that's talking about our people, so called Hispanic Latinos and Native Americans, so called African Americans, which are the biblical Israelites. They're always after something. They're always after a career, after work, after riches, after some kind of fulfillment in the flesh. They don't have a spiritual, you know, the wicked of our people, right? The two thirds, they don't have a spiritual, uh, uh, a spiritual mind. So they're always they're always searching for something. It says Romans chapter eleven and seven says, "What then? Israel hath not obtained what he seeketh for, but the election hath attained it, and the rest were blinded. The rest of who? The rest the rest of the world because the heathen can't obtain a god, and the the two thirds of our people which are destroyed. Okay, my scriptures say our my people are destroyed for lack. I'm just rolling the spirit. My people are destroyed. KJV, and because this preaching, my brother." It's like a, it's like a song. So we just go. This how you're supposed to teach is precept on precept. Now I want to all grab that. We're supposed to go precept on precept. And when you grab a precept, it's going to lead you to another one. You're going to automatically, once you're well studied, you can automatically think the spirit's going to, the spirit's dealing. He's going to make you think of another spirit, and you're going to go into that one. Hosea chapter 14 and and six says, "My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. A lot of what knowledge? The knowledge of Hamashiach Yahushai. The knowledge of." of who your oppressor is, who your en enemy is, uh, the knowledge of who your God is, uh, the knowledge of, of your, tr your traditions, your names, your language, the Hebrew. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected, and that's what these people do, our people especially. It says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And we're supposed to stand as men, as, as bold men. You know? Putting off, put, uh, putting off that weak nature by coming out here uh, on the highways and byways. Put off thy weak, weak nature. Our Raptors, I yell, Bashim continues to strengthen me in these aspects where, you know, we're in a carnal mind, we, we are in fleshly bodies. Our minds can only take us so far, but this, these scriptures and the spirit of Hamashiach Yahushai, you know, it gives us it gives us more faith, it gives us more understanding, it gives us more trust, and and that's what's going to bring bring us to a kingdom. I don't want to just, I'll grab that through the spirit to expound on that. Second Ezra chapter fourteen and fourteen, 
let go from the mortal thoughts and cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature because we're going to go into serious times. So we got to put off the weak nature. We got to put those mortal thoughts. Oh, what am I going to eat? Well, let me give you that one. What are we going to eat? What are we going to drink? What are we going to go? What are we scared? The scriptures just told you to put that off. Okay. Let me tell you this. Do the do the flowers toil and then because this and these scriptures are regarding the times that we're getting ready to see these are these are ultimately i find myself with this the yabba shim has done for me is he's giving me a great spirit of exhortation okay matthew chapter 6 and 28 says and why did i take thought for thy for raiment consider the lilies of the field how they grow they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon, all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Basically it's saying like, it was going to continue to say. It says, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon, all his glory was not arrayed of one of these. Let me see if there's 29. It's got something there. It says, Wherefore, if Yahweh so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall ye not much more clothe ye, O ye of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Whether with shall we be clothed? For all after these things do the Gentiles seek. Yeah, because the Gentiles, uh, other nations, they have a weak spirit. We don't have a weak spirit. We have a strong spirit. That's why we're out here. That's why we're out here in the forefront of the highways and byways. Tell, telling these people what's going down. For after these things do the Gentiles seek after. For your heavenly father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But ye seek. And that's through the script. We want to we want to seek the kingdom first. Because all things is going to be given to us. It says, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what or whether with shall we be clothed? For after all these things do do the Gentiles seek for your heavenly father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. So we're seeking the uh, we're seeking the uh, uh, we're seeking the uh, kingdom first by what? By 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 putting by uh, by putting our hand on the plow. And this, and this is a very serious work. We're putting our hand to the plow for what? To receive that, uh, to receive that, that salvation. I don't know if this, I'm going to grab that here. And it goes into explain, uh, what, what, the uh, precursor to receive salvation says. Second Ezra chapter nine and seven says, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works, right? You're going to be able to escape the destruction by our works and by faith whereby ye have believed and, and that's another thing uh, simply by us believing you might not be a prophet you might not be a teacher but you're simply believing and having faith in Hamashiach Yahushai is going to get you saved Second Aaron chapter 9 and 8 says shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them from the beginning and this is speaking of the realm the elect So that's that's the condition of our salvation uh, by our works and by our faith and what and, and 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 God and God and God is who God is uh, the God of the Bible, the God of Israel, the God of the Israelites, the God of the Jews, so-called Spanish Jews and Native Americans. This is not a hidden secret anymore. This this truth is coming to a forefront. The have us in that spirit to continue to prophesy. I'm gonna go back to my list. Hey, because Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, he's marking with signs the destruction uh, 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 of Babylon the Great, and he's giving us uh, a job to do because we're playing out his story. It's like we're narrators, right, to his great story. So we're narrating Yahweh Bashim Shai. That's how he wants it. That's how that's how he's a perfect. That's how he's perfect. He wants it done a certain way. And and don't you men, don't you men that have that have honor, that have integrity, when you want something, you want it a certain way. So we have to honor the way of the how the Heavenly Father wants it. 
Second Ezra chapter 15 and 1 says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Adawan. And, and these words are not, are not of us, but of the Heavenly Father. That, that's in the book of Matthew. Verse 2 says, And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And this is for, for uh, brothers that might be uh, considering to join or really learning, right? This is, this is what the Heavenly Father commands us to do because the prophet Ezra was, was inspired by uh, the, uh, our power. Shai, And this is what he tells us. Second Ezra chapter 15 and 3 says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Verse, so we don't care about what people speak of best. We don't care. That, oh, that's not true. Don't believe him. Don't listen to that. It says right here, fear not the imaginations against it because these people are a little faith. Not all men have faith. Okay, and you're going to find, as you grow in this truth, you're going to find that continuously, continuously, and that, and that, it should disgust you. Okay? Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Verse 4, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. It says, behold, saith the Adawan, I will bring plagues upon the world, sword, famine, death, and destruction. And it gives you the reason why. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and the hurtful works are fulfilled. The hurtful works are fulfilled with all this iniquity and abomination that the world is promoting. You have Elon Musk uh, pushing uh, uh, the, 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 the Neuralink. You have all the RFID being pronounced more and more. You have, I just seen a video today uh, from angry prepper talking about those that took the arm ticket more and more people is expected to be deleted this year okay then we've been we warned you okay we want we warned you of this devil let me grab that because when this devil has opportunity he speaks sweetly with his mouth but when he has opportunity he'll throw you in a pit a pit, a pit. so we're warning our people of this devil not to go along with the herd Okay, don't go. The scriptures say, uh, "Follow not a multitude to do evil." Okay, speaketh, speaketh sweet words. Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiasticus twelve and sixteen says, "An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit." He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Hey, so you got to be, and that's speaking, of, that's, you know, our people have adopted the mindset of Esau Edom, but that's going into Esau Edom, the way, the way uh, his transgression is, okay? You know, he seeks to destroy us. He just, he seeks to destroy the righteous. And that's what they've done. But I don't want to say, Yah has revealed us the truth. Yah Trust, trust not thy enemy. That's that precept upon precept, my boy. Uh, because, you know, you'll read a scripture and then it reminds you of another scripture. You just continue to, to, to speak in the spirit. Ecclesi Ecclesiasticus 12 and 10 says, Never trust thy enemy, for like iron rusted, so was his wickedness. And that's, once again, talking about Esau, Edom, but we can, we can also always... Uh, refer Esau Edom to the two thirds of our people because they're they are like the father of the devil. Ecclesiastes chapter twelve and ten and eleven says, "Though he humbleth himself and he go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as as thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his tr his rust had not all all not been altogether wiped away." And that's you know that's talking about that deception uh, this deception. Of Esau, which is Satan, which is Esau Edom is is, is 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 Satan in the physical embodiment. It says, "And thou shalt be unto him as as thou if thou hast wiped a looking glass, right? You you, you wipe a, a foggy mirror, right? And thou thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. He's dirty." Verse twelve says, "Set him not, set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand." Up in thy place, neither let him sit at thy right hand. Lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou, at the last, remember thy words and be prick where, where, wherewith. And the scripture says, "Who shall pity a charmer like 
meaning like you ever heard that's that you ever heard like in movies right like on aladdin the movie you know like a snake charmer is like uh, a person in, in countries you know especially in the in the ancient land in the middle east you know they 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 sing unto 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 like cobra snakes but if, if, if you get bit ain't no one gonna feel sorry for you okay Eh, eh, los mexicanos son los israelitas de la Biblia y los negros son los israelitas de la Biblia, los haitianos, los jamaquinos, los panameños, los salvadoreños, ustedes son los israelitas de la Biblia y si no se, si no se arreglan, Dios los va a matar. Tu a Shai. So Yahweh Bashi Shai, so I want to go back to what I was going into, how Yahweh Bashi Shai, hey, he's showing his face, he's showing his face through judgment. Tu Ariya Bashi Shai. With all these great, uh, uh, these great, great destructions, just like the destru uh, I don't know if you've seen that, but there was that bridge that collapsed and it, uh, it was going into uh, several people died and perished. It, it was beautiful, beautiful to behold. And then it said like one, it was like a truck. They found a uh, two employee, uh, two workers dead. And, and guess what? It's tight because guess what? One was, I think one was named like Hector Rodriguez and that's our people, bro. They, see, and, and that's our people. That you know, they run, they run, they run and go chase money. And guess what? And live in wickedness. And guess what? As soon as they go on the freeway, the fucking bridge collapsed, and their ass is dead. Okay, so those are the judgments of the heavenly Father, and, and that happened in the morning. It says every morning do we bring these judges to light, and it says, who have perished being innocent, and it says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and and the Adwan have not done it. So everything that happens on this earth is conducted and ordained, and uh, um, co-signed right by the heavenly father I have a scripture here this is a power this is a great power that we're dealing with Aaron Ratazal we're able to exalt the names of Yahweh Bashim Shai and give testimony Aaron Ratazal I'm going to go into that second chronicles chapter 16 you know uh, uh, um, oh, we give thanks and, and thanks and glory and praise to the heavenly father and declares his great works and that's Aaron Ratazal what we seek to do I'm going to grab a scripture here through the spirit uh, Some precepts that I wrote down from yesterday and I wanted to go out in Fresno But my, I, had, I only had enough spirit to, 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 to study and get these down But I don't want to tell you uh, Sent me out here And, and we're going to continue And we'll continue to uh, push, uh, push Towards that mark Psalms chapter 107 and 33 says He turned rivers into a wilderness And, and the waters spring into dry ground for a fruit, a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. He turned the wilderness into a stand water and dry the ground into water springs. And there he maketh the hungry to dwell that they may prepare a city for habitation and sow fields and plant vineyards which may yet fruits increase. He blesseth them also that they are multiplied greatly and suffereth not their cattle. Okay, that's going, you know, Yahweh Shemash is a great power. And these people walking around here. Like things is gonna go on on uh, day to day thing, but but we have the vision. Yah Bashim Yashai, he, he revealed the secrets unto the prophets. The Wadi I might grab that one to the spirit. He revealed the secrets unto his prophets, and what's the secret? What's the, the secret that that this this place Babylon the Great is gonna be destroyed, and these people's um, false sense of security is gonna be wiped away. Because just like I said, this is like a song. So as long as you're you're hitting precepts and you're speaking, you're breaking down the scriptures to the best of your ability, and hey, you're 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 hitting those you're hitting those notes. Amos chapter, beautiful, Amos chapter 3 and 7 says, Surely the Adawan Yahweh will do nothing, but it revealed the secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And Adawan Ratzal, that's us. So Yahweh Yahshua has given us that eye sal to see, to know, to have those ears to hear and those eyes to see that vision of the times to come. What are, what are the times to come? I wrote this one down on my, on my notes from yesterday. Adawan Ratzal, I'm going to go. Yahweh Bashim is getting ready to, 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 to reveal his son, which basically means he's going to reveal himself. Because it's unto his like. Uh, Yahweh Bashim Yashai is, is created in the image of the. Uh, uh, Hamashiach Yahweh is created in the image of, of the great power. 
Zechariah chapter one, and this is what this is what we're speaking of: the great day of the Adawan, the great day of Yahweh Shimei Shai. Zechariah chapter one and fourteen. Or is it fourteen and one? Or is Zephaniah Salakia? Salakia, give me. Let me. Uh, let me uh, fix this situation right here. I found it. Beautiful. Zephaniah chapter 1 and 14 says, The great Zephaniah chapter 1 and 14 says, The great day of the Ottawan is near, it is near and hasted greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Ottawan, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. Verse 15. This is mighty men, these, these soldiers, these big fucking these these big brute men these meatheads these gym rats these men these strong men the, the 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 calamity the destruction the great power the great evils that the god by shimon shah is bringing upon the earth these mighty men is, is going to cry zephaniah chapter 1 and 14 says the great day of the ottawan is near it is near and hasted greatly even the voice of the day of the ottawan the mighty man shall cry there bitterly verse 15 that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of want, a, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of, of a day of clouds and thick darkness, a trumpet and an alarm against the fences, against the high tower. That's talking about America. Yahweh Shemuel is bringing a great destruction upon America, and these peoples, it, it's going to be this. This what this is marking is the, these signs and effects and these. These uproars and these rumors of wars, these pestilence, as Yahweh Hashem have us going into, is the beginning of great sorrows. Second Ezra chapter 8 and 50 says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the later time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. Verse 51. But understand for thyself, and see God the glory of such that, that as be like thee. For unto you is praise open and the tree of life planted. And the time to come is prepared. Plantiness is made ready. A city is built and rest is allowed. Ye perfect goodness and wisdom. And we have all these things laid up for us. And that's why we're out here. This, all these things, this whole truth is like a song. It's like a circle. It's like a full circle. It ends up circling around through the spirit. And through the spirit, we understand that we're going to escape these perils through our faith and our works. So what are we doing through the spirit? Of course, we're doing the will of the Heavenly Father, keeping the commandments, showing ourselves as men, coming on highways and byways. What y'all about Shimei Shai? I gotta read that again. I gotta, I gotta read that again because it escaped me. But that's why I read it again and, and it reminded me of where I was. I was gonna bring out a priest and, and it escaped me. Second Ezra chapter 8. And 51, but understand for thyself and seek out the glory of such as be like thee, for unto you is praise open, a tree of life is planted. A time to come, prepared plentiness is made ready, a city is built and rest is allowed. I have two precepts that, that came to mind that, that they correlate. So what we're doing to please the Heavenly Father, to standing in our auto to standing in our lot, hey, we're we're like the, an the elder, this was today, I believe, he was speaking about that spiritual bank account. Right now, we're not getting paid. We don't get paid for this. But guess what? Yahweh Bashim is, is is the one that pays us. And in the heavens is that bank account. And we're building up that bank account from the time of trouble. I don't want to start going to that treasures. And this is this is for you, but this is for you, brother. Because guess what? By you doing this work, Yahweh Bashim is gonna honor you. The scripture says it says, Yahweh Bashim is not, not a man that he should lie. Yahweh Bashim is not. Uh, is, I'm gonna grab that one to the spirit right now. Matthew chapter Matthew chapter six and nineteen says, "Lay not." And not, Matthew chapter six and nineteen says, "Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust do corrupt, and where thieves do break through and steal. But lay for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust do corrupt." Where thieves do not break through and steal, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also, which is your mind. And our, the treasure is, is everlasting life, everlasting righteousness, uh, 
everything that you, all your, your hearts desire, right? Especially having our enemies, uh, uh, our foot on our enemies' necks. That's that's going to be one of the great benefits of scriptures to speak about. Uh, let me grab that for you. It says that is the that is the uh, that is the patience of the saints to destroy you devils. That that is the patience and the faith of the saints of the saints of what of what does it say? It's going to tell you what it says right now. Revelation chapter fourteen and twelve says, "Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh." And the faith of Hamashiach, and, a, and, a, and a, it says, and I heard a voice from heaven. It says, and, I, and I, it says, here is the patient and the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh, and the, the faith of Mashiach. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the outer world from henceforth. He, he say the spirit that they may rest from their labors and from their works do follow them. Hey, that's going to what I was saying. That's going to our saying, Yahweh Shem is not a man that he, that he should lie. And our labor, our labor is not in vain. Verse fourteen says, "And I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and upon and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having his his head head a golden crown, and his hand and his hand a sharp sickle." That's exactly what I was talking about. That revealing how Mashiach Yahweh Shem is this is clearly the Spirit. And another angel came out of his temple, saying, crying aloud with the voice to him that sat on the throne, thrust in the sickle and reap, for the time has come for thy to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And that's exactly the time that we're in. The relevant time that we're in, that, that this earth, Babylon the Great, ready for the threshing, ready to, for the harvest, ready to be thrust through with the sickle. The Wadi al Shai. Verse 16, and he that saw in the cloud thrust thrust in the sickle on the earth and the earth was reaped and another angel out of the temple the temple which was in heaven he also having a sharp sickle and another came out from the altar and had power over fire and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle saying saying thrust in thy sharp sickle and gather the cluster of thy vine that's us that's the rent of lake cluster of thy vine of the earth and for the grapes are fully ripe and the angel thrust in the sickle into the earth and gathered the vine into the earth and cast it into the great wine press great winepress of the wrath of Yahweh, and the winepress was trotted with, without the city and the blood came out of the winepress even unto the horse's bridle by six of thousand hundred furlongs and that's how much bloodshed that's how much bloodshed is going to be upon Babylon the great okay it says up to a horse's bridle that's like roughly six feet that's how much blood is going to lay the land and we're gonna get ready to throw you damn devils in the, into captivity to recompense you for all the wickedness that you've done. How about that too? Because that's called righteous indignation, and that's what the scriptures speak of. It says, "He that leads into captivity shall be thrown into captivity." This is in the spirit. I just want to grab that here. Well, I, I can leave that for later. But all around the saw, that's what we're doing: laying up those treasures, uh, 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 treasures in heavens. Boldly approach, approach the throne of glory. KG. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful sight that, you know, like literally, Yahabah Shem has, has has us, his, his voice, right? His words, uh, his words, uh, the secrets, right? Giving those words, giving that thou judgment, giving that judgment out to our enemies. It's like we're literally doing it, speaking those words of the Heavenly Father. Hebrews chapter 4 and 16 says, Let us therefore, this is what we're doing to the Spirit. Hebrews chapter 4 and 16 says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. That Because we understand the vision. It's going to be, like I said, the bloodshed is going to be all the way up to a horse's bridle. So we understand the severity of, uh, of the fear of the outer one. The scripture says the fear of the outer one is the beginning of, of wisdom. Okay? So we understand. We fear the Heavenly Father. That's why we're out here uh, consecrating ourselves, giving up our spiritual our, our sacrifice, making ourselves a fool before the earth. But for what? We're not going to be fools. We're not going to be fools when we're eating and you guys are starving. And we ain't going to be fools in that day. No, we're not going to be fools. We're not going to be fools. We're not going to be fools when the nuclear missiles drop. 
and y'all still fucking fucking off on Instagram. Y'all still on, on OnlyFans. Y'all still doing some stupid ass uh, Instagram challenge. Y'all some stupid ass motherfuckers. But guess what? Y'all about to getting ready to destroy this place. And, and y'all about to getting ready to humble all the wicked of our people. Starting with you women. Starting with, with these wicked ass jakes. Two thirds of our people. So why do y'all about to me outside? That's the truth. So why do y'all about to me outside? Because it says uh, folly, is, folly is health and great dignity. And that's what Yahweh Bashim al is done with. He's getting ready to destroy this place. So I'm going to grab that scripture one more time. Because we want to approach the throne with great boldness. It says Hebrews chapter 4 and 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. That we may obtain mercy and find grace unto help in the time of need. That's why we're here. So why do Yahweh Bashim al and all around us all, we're here to be a, 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 a great scent, a savory scent in the, in the nose of the Heavenly Father. Because when he when we exalt the Heavenly Father, that is his pleasure, okay? I'm going to grab, I don't want to I might grab this one through the Spirit. I don't want to y'all about Shemesh, let me do some more videos through the Spirit. But I, I'm going to uh, give thanks to the Heavenly Father, you know, continuously. He says, give, give thanks, KJV. Psalms chapter 107 and 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Otto One, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. The Wadi Abashima, that's that's what we're here for. The Wadi Abashim Al Shai. Let me see if there's any more. I want to grab that uh in this one more scripture in 2 Chronicles to the Spirit. You know, I just came out here in the spirit, gave gave, gave my best shot at it. The Wadi Abashim Al Shai made a video. And that's what the Heavenly Father has ordained for us to do. Maybe it's is right here first chronicles chapter 16 and and first slocky first chronicles chapter 16 a says give thanks unto the outer one call upon his name make his known deeds among the people verse 9 says sing unto him sing songs unto him talk ye of all his wondrous works verse 10 give ye in his give, glory ye in his holy name let the heart of them rejoice that seek the outer one seek the outer one and the strength continuously Seek the other one and the strength continuously. Seek his face continually. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Israel, his servants, you children of Jacob. His chosen ones, his chosen ones, he is the other one, our power, his judgments are in all the earth. Be ye mindful always of his covenant, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations even to the covenant which he had made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that's what we pl we pray to the Heavenly Father to bring a speedy destruction, a speedy riddance to the two-thirds, uh, that we may always exalt the Heavenly Father in truth, righteousness, and sincerity. So with that, we want to get face the east. We want to face the east, giving all honor and glory to our power, which is Yahweh, Kala, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rahakudash, Tawadi Ba'ashim, Yahshai. For allowing me to come out here on the highways and byways and, and prophesy the destruction of Babylon the Great, prophesy the destruction of America, prophesy the, the enslavement of you Edomites and you other nations, and the salvation of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called Spanish, Latinos, and Native Americans, and so called African Americans, you true biblical Israelites, the ones that you, the, the scriptures say, the cornerstone that the builders rejected has been the, uh, has been the, the, corner, the chief cornerstone. The Wadi Abashim Al Shai. That's what we're getting, getting ready to receive, and we're going to be we're going to be getting ready to be uh, exalted with our Heavenly Father as we as we suffer with Him. Okay, so we want we want the reward. We got to suffer with Him, and we got to labor to enter into rest. So with that, I say Shalom once again, giving all honor and glory to my power, which is Yahweh Kala Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rahakudash to Wadi Abashim Al Shai. Until the next time, a Baba Ba Shalom to Wadi Abashim Al Shai to the rent the elect. Till next time, Shalom.